here in the same class. Hey, you're in my environmental science class, right? Yes, I am. What's your name? Mark Voss. Nice to meet you. I'm Angela Lopez. Where are you from, Mark? I'm from the Netherlands. Where is it located? It's in Northwestern Europe. I see. And what's your nationality? I'm Dutch. Really? Well, your English is very good. That's because English is one of the most commonly spoken languages in the Netherlands. You will definitely find plenty of people who can understand and speak English. That's interesting. Who's your English teacher? Mrs. Campbell. She's my teacher, too. Are we in the same class? When is your class? It's on Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 o'clock a.m. My class is on Mondays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. So we're not in the same English class. That's too bad. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. A typical day. Hey, George, how's it going? Do you like your new school? Hey, Paul. Yes, I do. I like that we have a lot of extracurricular activities to choose from. I also like that we have a good library with lots of resources. And I have many friends there, and we do lots of things. Tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I usually get up at 6.30. I take a shower and get dressed. We wear a uniform to school every day. Then I have breakfast at 7.30. I have classes from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. with a lunch break in between. And where do you have your lunch? I have lunch at the cafeteria. How's the food there? It's okay, I guess. I can't complain. And what do you do after school? Well, I do my homework first. Then I usually do sport. This year I'm in the basketball club. And what other extracurricular activities do you have? I'm also in the debate club. What does debate club consist of? This is a club where students can get together and practice arguing over set topics. That sounds interesting. Do you have any free time? Oh, yes, of course. Before bed at 10 p.m., I watch TV, listen to music, or just hang out with my friends. It sounds fun. Are there any questions? Hello, everyone. Today, we'll be discussing the rules of the upcoming test. Are there any questions? Do we have to sit in a specific seat for the test? No, you don't have to. You can choose any seat you want. Can we use calculators during the test? No, sorry, but you may not use calculators during the test. What about cell phones? Cell phones are not allowed either. Please turn them off and put them away before the test begins. What if I need to use the restroom during the test? You can use the restroom, but you cannot take any materials with you. This includes your test, notes, and textbooks. Can we bring our own scratch paper? Yes, you can bring your own scratch paper. However, you must turn it in with your test. Is it okay if I talk to another student during the test? You must not talk to another student during the test. Is it okay if I use my book? Sorry, you can't use your book. What if I don't understand something on the test? 
Please ask me for clarification. I'm happy to help you. What happens if I'm late for the test? Can I still take it? Yes, you can. But you shouldn't come late. You'll need a lot of time for the test. Can I bring coffee or water into the classroom? You mustn't bring food or drinks into the classroom. Eating, drinking, and chewing gum are prohibited during the test. What if I finish early? If you finish early, you can quietly leave the room. However, you cannot disturb other students who are still taking the test. How long will we have for the test? You'll have two hours. That's usually enough time. If you finish early, you don't need to stay. You can leave. The College Cafeteria Do you like the College Cafeteria? Yes, I like that it is reasonably priced, convenient, and it has a friendly atmosphere. They offer a variety of food options. There's something for everyone. That's true. I also like that they have a salad bar and fresh fruit available. Yes, it's important to have healthy options available. But there are also a lot of things I don't like. Really? Like what? Well, sometimes the food can be a bit bland or overcooked. I agree. It's important for the cafeteria to provide healthy and diverse food options. But it's also essential to ensure the food is properly cooked and seasoned. And the lines can be long during peak hours. You're right. There are not enough workers at peak times. I also don't like that the students don't bother to clear their tables after they finish eating. They should put their dirty plates and cutlery on the trolleys and throw away their leftovers and rubbish. Definitely. Also, there are a number of students who do not wait in the queue to be served, which is very annoying. Yeah, it's rude. I think we should tell them when they are jumping the queue. Maybe we should talk to the college administration about improving the cafeteria food. That's a great idea. Our feedback can help make positive changes in our college. School Talent Show Hey Noah, have you seen the posters around school for the talent show? Yeah, I saw them earlier. Do you think you'll enter? <laughs> I've always said no to entering these kinds of things. But the word on the street is that lots of people are entering, so I'm certainly tempted. How about you? I'm definitely entering. I've been waiting for this opportunity all my life. I love being on stage and doing my thing. Amazing. What's your act? Magic! I've been practicing and performing tricks since before I can even remember. My dad has been a magician for years, and I follow in his footsteps. That's so cool. I love magic shows. I guess you won't reveal how you do it then. No way. What would your act be? It has to be gymnastics. I've been competing since I was five, so I have some routines I could perform. That would be great. I heard you were outstanding. <laughs> it's one thing performing at a competition where everybody is doing the same, and another in your school hall in front of all your friends. I know what you mean. You should, though. I think it'll be a great thing to be a part of. I'll have a think. We've got a week until the closing date for entry forms. I've already submitted mine. <laughs> You're so keen. The stationery store. Hi, what can I help you with today? Hi, I need to buy some school supplies. Sure, we have a wide range of school supplies. What do you need? 
For starters, I need some notebooks, pens, pencils. Do you have any recommendations for good quality supplies? We have a range of brands that offer high quality supplies. For example, these notebooks are made with recycled paper and are eco-friendly. They have soft, nice quality paper. Oh, I love the design of this notebook so much. I'd like three notebooks in this design, please. Sure, here you go. And what about pens and pencils? These pens have a comfortable grip and are perfect for writing. And these pencils are made with high quality lead and are long lasting. Do you have erasable pens too? Yes, these ones are erasable pens with the eraser at the top. They are great for coloring, drawing, and writing. That's wonderful. I'll take them. And I'd like the pencils too. I also need a spacious pencil case. This pencil case with two compartments has lots of space inside for stationery. It looks great. Do you have it in blue? Of course. Just a moment. Here you go. Great. I'll take it. And finally, I would also like a pair of scissors. What do you say about this one? It's perfect. Thanks a lot. Do you want to be my partner? And the project is due three weeks today. This gives you all plenty of time to find your partners, plan and deliver. You have everything you need to produce an excellent piece of work. Class, you may go. See you all next week. Tom, do you want to be my partner? Absolutely. We'll be great together. You're a great storyteller. And I'm great with technology. So we should be the dream team. Yes. Have you got any ideas? Well, creating a stop motion video is difficult to do. So we need to start by deciding what we want to use. The most popular will be Lego. But maybe we should go all out and make our characters from plasticine. It'll make the job bigger, but way more personalized and impressive. It also needs to be linked to an environmental concern. I've always thought it'd be cool to do something about the coral reef and its importance to the ecosystem. Great idea! So, we need to think of a catchy message to make people want to change and help the coral reef. Shall I start brainstorming ideas and a possible script? Then we could research the best ways to deliver a stop motion. Sure! Then, in the final stages, I'll be in charge of editing and smoothing any glitches. Perfect. This is a fab class project. Are you free on Thursday after school? By then, we'll each have done our first section and be ready for the next stage. Looking for a tutor. I can't do this. I give up. What's up, Anita? You look totally fed up. I am. I just can't get my brain around these math equations. I know Mr. Yen went through it all last lesson, and I should understand. But away from the classroom, it's all just confusing. Oh, yes. They are tricky ones. I think I need to ask Mom to find me a math tutor. Otherwise, there's no way I'll make it through our next set of exams. I need to pass them if I've got any chance of getting into high school. That's an option. There are plenty of excellent tutors around. Let me help you with these, though. I can probably work out where you've gone wrong. Ah, uh, it's this bit here. Can you see that it should be 364, not 464? That will then alter the rest of the equation. Oh, yes, I see it now. Thank you so much, Sally. 
I think I should find extra help, although I wish you could be my tutor. You're a fantastic teacher and patient. Anita, I'm more than happy to help you. I'm a math geek through and through. We could do a lesson in the library a few times a week. Or you could come to my house during the evening. Sally, I appreciate this so much. Just let me know what works for you. No worries. I'll let you know. Extra credit assignment. And that concludes our lesson. Tomorrow, we'll be thinking about how to use idioms to really enhance your writing. Class dismissed. But, Laura, could I have a quick word? Of course, sir. Did I do something wrong? Quite the contrary, Laura. I've just graded the assignments from last week, and I was astounded by yours. It was quite extraordinary. Oh, thank you, sir. That's kind of you. Not at all. It's all you're doing and hard work. So well done, you. Sir, is there anything I can do to enhance my grades and earn extra credit? Ah, well, I'm not often asked for extra assignments. But since you ask, yes, I can set you up for an extra credit assignment. It will give you the best chance of top grades and make your application to college stand out. Often, students who undertake these assignments have their pick of colleges. Great! I'd really like that. Then I shall arrange it. If you could find me on Wednesday, I'll have the guidelines ready and you get started. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.